To construct an equilateral triangle inscribed in a circle, okay, so given circle T shown below, to construct an equilateral triangle inscribed within this circle, we're going to use the construction for the inscribed regular hexagon. So we make, you put a point on the circle, okay, and measure the distance from the center to that point on the circle, which is your radius. And from there, we're going to make five more arcs, which would give us six congruent arcs around the circle. And congruent arcs give us congruent chords. So one, two, three. Four, five, and then here's our, and we don't need that arc, but now we have our six points. So every chord that connects these six is going to be congruent, as congruent arcs have congruent chords, but I don't want to have six congruent chords. I only want to have three. So we connect every other one. Let me get rid of one more. Aren't you? There we go. All right. So we go every other one from here to here, here to here, and then here to here. And just to make sense or also make note of, if I took the circle and divided it into three arcs, 360 divided by 3 is going to be 120 degrees. If I look at the inscribed angle that intercepts this arc, that would be half of 120, which is 60. So each angle I know is therefore 60, and if all angles are the same, all sides are the same, which I knew to begin with, all sides the same, all angles are the same, but this just proves each angle to be 60 degrees. We have our equilateral triangle.